Hello, it's Greeny. Before this video begins, I need to rant. So recently, Microsoft updated their Photos app, and along with that, they also got rid of their old video editing software, which was one of the two things I used. The second thing was some random crap I found on the store after I got my new computer. So at first I was pissed off, but then I realized they made a new one called Clipchip, which is completely free, and I haven't used it yet, but just from the looks of it, it looks very cool, and I like it, and I'm excited to use it, but I'm just a little, little teensy bit mad that I've had to wait this long for a good video editing software. I know, this is extremely nitpicky. I don't care. I don't care. Why did it take you this long? If you were capable of doing it, why didn't you do it? Clearly you're capable. capable. I, it took me forever to find out that the video editing software was still there when I got my new computer. And that's the only reason why I downloaded, what's this one called again? Movie Maker Video Editor. Movie Maker Video Editor is garbage. It's slow, it's laggy, and it has fucking ads. Why does it have ads? I'm sorry for yelling. Ah, oh, man. Call me Sniper Wolf, because this is some unnecessary yelling I'm doing here. But, like... Come on. And you had to do it in the middle you had to do it directly in the middle of me making a video and directly after starting chapter three and chapter three could have started perfectly if i had a good video editing software oh my god microsoft you i I apologize for my anger, but at the same time, I don't. Oh, <sighs> sorry, I, I I had to get that. I had to put this in the video. Okay, let's begin the video. I made a game. Is it good? No. Is it good? Also no. But is it good? Yes. All you need to play it is three of the following type of dice. D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, and D20. Or you can do it the simple way of having a computer and having the mental capacity to type in the phrase Google Dice Roller. I personally prefer using Google Dice Roller because it's quicker, you can't lose the dice, and you can't risk stacking 3d6s corner to corner, ripping a hole in the fabric of reality. Don't ask me how I know that. How to play. Roll the 18 dice. If two or more dice of any type have the same number, remove them. Once all the numbers are different, roll the remaining dice. Repeat this process until there's only one type of die left. That die is now eliminated. Cycle repeats and the last die type standing wins. If there are two dice left of two different types left, then you keep rolling the dice until, until you reach a total value that both dice can get. Then you roll the dice and the first die to hit that number is safe. Now, theoretically, this game is meant to be played with six people, maybe even seven, including a game master. However, I am only one person. Luckily, I am a child, and I have toys. So let's pretend these are my friends. Let's see. I'll name you Bradley. 
You are Bradley again. You will be Cave Crystal Teleporter. I'll call you Jude Howard's Index Finger. You will be Comically Large Mad Cow Disease. And finally, you are Green Salad Emoji. Hello, it's Editing Greeny. Guess who got lazy again? And half-ass through a crucial part of the video again. Hee <laughs> hee It... I don't know who it was. It might have... Maybe. Made, might have been me. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not, though. Uh... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Hehehe. <laughs> uh. So let's play. This is what we get with the first roll. Only one one, so it's safe. There are two twos, so we get rid of them. Following that, we have two threes, five fours, no fives, three sixes, and the rest are all unique. As expected, d4, d6, and d8 are safe so far. We roll again, and the only duplicates are two tens. Rolling again gives us two threes, putting d12 in safety. A few rolls later, and we get two twelves, which officially makes green salad emoji eliminated. Starting off round two with two ones, two twos, three fours, two sevens, and three eights. We've got an interesting final three here, and by all odds, D6 and D12 are safe, and Bradley is eliminated. Round three starts off with two threes, two fives, two sevens, and two tens. <laughs> Next, we got two fours, which means this is our first 1v1 of the game. Getting a legal value usually takes a while, depending on the type, but since these are both two middle values, it was quick to give us the value of seven. Actually took a while, but D8 is safe, and Jude Howard's index finger is eliminated. Round 4 sends us straight to a 1v2 with two ones, two fives, and two sevens. In a shocking turn of events in just one roll, Bradley again is eliminated. Which means our final two are Cave Crystal Teleporter and Comically Large Mad Cow Disease. The first roll, the final round, has no time to waste with two twos and two sevens. We've reached the grand finale. The winning value is eight. For dramatic effect, I'll screenshot each individual roll. And that's the game! The winner of the first inaugural kind of unfair dice game is Comically Large Mad Cow Disease. Now, if you ever play this game yourself, don't expect to hire the high d d d <sighs> I'm leaving that one in. Now, if you ever play this game yourself, don't expect the higher half to win every time. Most of the time, it's gonna be either D4 or D6 winning. You could, instead of having three of each, do something like this, but then it wouldn't really be an unfair dice game. It would be more like a dice game. Regardless of if it's fair or not, it's still kind of a nothing burger. So before you get your pals together and play, here are some fun things you can add to it. For example, how do you decide who gets what dice? Fight fire with fire. Or in this ta case, fight dice with more dice. So now we just have a bunch of dice lying around. What can we do with it? Well, if somebody dares to complain about the fairness of the game, add 53 dice to their roster. While you're waiting for a 1v1 to end, instead of spending the money you would have spent on all those dice, buy Hasbro Shoots and Ladders Peppa Pig Edition on Newegg.com for $26.61 not sponsored. Don't actually play the game while you're waiting, just buy the game. 
and if the 1v1 ends before you finish the purchase, once it arrives, you have to eat the pieces. But if you actually want to play something instead, you can use the 39 cents change from the game you bought to play the unfair coin game. This is definitely not way more than 39 cents. It's just like the dice game, but instead, there's only two options, heads or tails. Let's see what happens. Well, we have two tails and four heads, so everybody is safe. Uh, hey, at the time of me writing this sentence, it's Rosa the Sea Otter's 24th birthday. Happy belated birthday, Rosa! And speaking of sea otters, how about the first person to see an otter gets to pick their dice and or coin? When you do find the otter, then you can play the unfair otter game. No matter how you play the game, the otter always wins. Uh... The... <laughs> Moral of the story, making fair games is boring. And boredom is what sparked me to make this stupid video. So, I have one more game for you. It's called The Unfair Like Game. If this video gets exactly 53 Quatuar Decillion likes, I will buy Hasbro Shoots and Ladders Peppa Pig Edition on Newegg.com for $26.61. See you next time!